Hi everyone, this is your Tech Body J. For today's video, I would like to share with you the two basic methods of screen capturing that you can use for your live production. Stay tuned. Before we start, I would like to show you first the three basic components that we will use on this tutorial. First is gigabit network switch with CAT6 cable and a USB capture card. This version is a HDMI. And of course, the two laptops. Okay, for the first method, we are using this AJA UTEP. Uh, this is uh, a HDMI version. And on my left side, this is the laptop that we will capture the screen. And on this side, uh, this is the laptop with a vMix software. So this vMix software will incorporate with our HDMI to capture the screen on the first laptop. Before we start, I would like to share some info regarding this AJA uh, UTAP HDMI capture card. Basically, this uh, capture card is made of metal frame. It's quite sturdy. And on the left side, we have the USB uh, output going to our vMix and we have this HDMI input on the right side. And on the back, these are some information and it has a uh, rubber grip. So when you put on the, uh, on the table, it won't uh, just slide. So it gives a good grip on your table. And for this uh, barcode, you can see some info there. There's a alphanumeric uh, information on the right side of the barcode. Later, you will see this uh, once uh, I plug in this uh, capture card on the on the laptop with the vMix. Okay, we start to connect the device. We connect the USB first. Then on the other side of the USB, connect to laptop. Okay, from the vMix, you can add input here. Then go to camera. So your camera feed input. You can press the selection. Okay. You can see this uh, UT of uh, vid plus the alphanumeric this alphanumeric is the one i mentioned earlier is uh this details of the one beside uh beside the this uh, uh barcode here in this uh aja okay so from here you can select it okay then you select this one okay now you can set your input Okay, for now I'm using maybe I'm using about 25 frames. Okay, and also this device it can be built in uh, audio. It can capture audio and video at the same time. Okay, so press OK. Okay, now we don't have the physical input from the our HDMI input, so it will show you uh, this color bars. Basically, using a capture card is a very straightforward method to capture your screen. Okay. Okay, we will plug in this HDMI output from your first laptop. Okay, then we will plug in the HDMI input. Okay. Once this Aja receive the data from this uh, first laptop, it will automatically pop up on your vMix. Okay. So you can see you can see the desktop screen of this uh, first laptop going to the uh, vMix. Okay, if you want to do uh, embedded audio on your uh, screen capturing, the first thing you will do is to make sure your audio output is assigned to UTAP HDMI. 
okay then i will play uh, one playback here okay then on the other side of laptop on the vmix you need to add input go to your camera okay again we need to capture this aja okay the utep then next on the audio device just make sure you selecting the utep because by default you will see here a uh, built-in audio so again select the utep and press ok Okay. It's instantly pop up on your production. I think that's it for the first method using a USB capture card. Uh, as you can see, it's a very straightforward setup. It's almost plug and play, and also we have, uh, with a minimal uh, setting on your PC. And now we will proceed on our next uh, method, which is a uh, NDI using our local network uh, system. Here's our second method using NDI through local network. Okay, at first I will show you the physical patch of this. Basically, I have uh, one gigabit uh, network switch behind here. I got two input. The first input is on the on my first laptop here. This and my second input is for my second laptop here before we proceed i just wanted to share a quick information regarding ndi ndi stands for network device interface ndi is a free protocol for uh, video over ip which allows you to transmit and receive uh, audio and video signal from uh, multiple devices uh, available on your network for the smooth transmission of your signal through your network I suggest you guys to use a gigabit network because uh, a, nine, a single 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second of signal will consume about 125 Mbps of your dedicated bandwidth. Which means in one gigabit network, you can capture up to 8 video sources from your devices. Before you start using NDI, just make sure you already download the NDI software from uh, ndi.tv uh, this software is available for uh, windows and mac you can also download the ndi software from uh, vmix.com same thing is also available from windows and mac after you download and install the ndi software the next thing you will do is to go on start menu okay then from the start menu, uh, try to find the NDI tools folder. Okay. From NDI tools folder, you can see uh, different NDI uh, software. But for now, we will using uh, either Screen Capture or Screen Capture HX. The difference uh, between these two, the screen capture HX uh, use less bandwidth uh, compared to the normal screen capture. Okay, so once I double click this uh, screen capture HX, it will be available here. Okay, available here, screen capture HX, which means uh, your PC is already available on the network. So this one when you click right click you can see the bandwidth bandwidth control i mean bandwidth control video resolution uh, frame rate uh, and audio source okay some of the details i will discuss maybe on the my next video so now uh we are running uh, NDI HX on this PC, so meaning it's already available on our network. To check this, uh, we need to check. Uh, we need to open up on our VMix. Okay, we start add input. Then you go to NDI Desktop Capture. As you can see, this is available here. Uh, the name of my lap, uh, the PC 
uh, source PC is uh, Dell number 7. Okay, it's uh, number 7. This Dell number 7. So, it's available here on the network. You just select this and press OK. So, now you can see uh, your uh, source already available on your production. To check that it if will transmit uh, audio, I will play uh, one video on our source. Okay, I double click. Okay, now you can see. You can check also the latency. It has very minimal latency. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you learned something that you can use for your live production, uh, even your live streaming. And if you want to see uh, more tutorial videos like this, please like and subscribe on my channel. Once again, this is your Tech Buddy J signing off.